Last month we talked about cameras for golfers. This is the one I bought. It's waterproof and shockproof. This month we're going to talk about what to do with the pictures that you take. In the old days, people did this. They uh, compiled huge collections of snapshots, which then eventually went into, went into their estate sale. But technology has given us other cool ways to store photographs. This is a photo book from uh, Kodak and uh, I'm an obsessive scrapbook compiler. I have been for years and now I can do it very easily uh, on, online. This is a photo book of a golf trip that I took to Ireland. This is a calendar. Uh, I like to look at the pictures. It reminds me of the time of the year. That's that golf trip I took to Ireland, uh, which was in May. There's, uh, there's January. Uh, it's also me in Ireland. This is a note card. It's handy if you need to send somebody a thank you note or if you just want to remind yourself about the trip you took to Ireland. This is April, Master's Month. This is a luggage tag for a suitcase. Uh, also picture from my trip to Ireland. June, US Open. This is a magnet, which you can use to uh, hold pictures to, like, to the refrigerator, like that. You can get something for your wife, like this Christmas ornament. It has a uh, picture of me on that golf trip to Ireland. If I'm writing an email to my friends to tell them, say, about a golf trip that I took to Ireland, uh, it's nice to have a mouse pad that reminds me of the trip. You can also have your pictures printed on materials that you're not used to seeing pictures on like this blanket. When I go on a trip, uh, like my trip to Ireland, I sometimes feel bad about all my friends who had to stay at home, but seeing the, these uh, pictures of me is a way for them to share the good times that I had too.